Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how do we sort the elements of an array using the built-in C++ function or the algorithm called as sort. In order to use the sort algorithm, first thing is you need to include the header file algorithm, and then the function name out here is sort. Right. The sort algorithm C++ is implemented using the concept of STL. So we can sort the elements of any data type. We can sort integers, we can sort strings, as well as we can also sort elements of user different data type. So for now, we are going to learn how do we sort elements of integers and elements of strings. The sort algorithm takes two arguments. The first argument is the base address of an array, which is can be obtained by just mentioning the name of an array. The second argument should be the end address of an array. The end address of an array can be achieved with the help of array plus the number of elements. In the first case, we do have eight number of elements. I'm just need, <coughs> need to mention here are plus eight. So this statement is sufficient for me to sort the elements of an array. So we don't need to write our own user-defined functions with multiple for loops as well as okay, write to swap, interchange the elements, all those things because this one line will do the job for us. So let's quickly verify is this arranging the elements or not. So I need to compile with G++. The file name is sort underscore demo. Then come run this. It works perfectly fine. We can observe that sort is able to arrange the elements in order. Now let us also try to sort the strings which are stored in this particular data structure out here. Now in order to sort this, we need to just mention sort, pass the base address which is names and just pass on the end address which is names plus. I do have six elements in that particular case. Right? Similarly, in order to print that, we are going to use a for loop to print. There are six elements there and then it is called as names. Let's quickly verify is it sorting or not. Right, perfect. It is sorting the elements out here. H comes before N, then P, then S, 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 I. So it's perfectly sorting the elements of integers or the elements of strings. Now, we can improvise this particular program one level. Now, this particular code has a lot of magic numbers. This is called as magic number. This is also called as magic number. And the problem with this particular numbers out here is it does not really specify what is that. And then, yes, you can improvise by telling that, okay, I will just use a variable which basically cal captures the length of an array and then mention it. The other way what you can do it is we do have a C++ construct which can automatically determine the starting address of an array and the end of an address of an array. So we just have a function called as begin. We can pass on this and then similarly we can use end and we can pass on this. Now this begin function and end function are C++ 11 constructs. Along with this, we can also try to utilize a build much better improvised for loop. So wherein you can just specify the element whatever you want to capture into this is the array name and you can just print the element here. We got this for each loop. The same thing can also be tried out with this. Please do remember this is a C++11 feature, so in case if you are not enabled C++11, it will not work. The both the begin and end function as well as the enhance for loop. Pilot, sorry. Yeah, as I mentioned that uh, this is a C++11 feature. We have to enable C++11 feature. In order to enable the C++11 feature, just compile with 
STD equal to C++ 11. It works with C++ 11 as well as the next versions of that will be C++ 14 or 17 also. Perfect. Now let's try to add few more elements out here in this. Let us see, okay, will it really work properly or not? I'm just adding up four and then let us say I would like to add another five, right? Then I would like to add someone like nine. I'd like to, okay, probably I can also think of adding or removing some names. Right? Now let's try to recompile this particular code and just check out This one, yes, recompile this and then execute this. So it's a quite a new feature wherein we can just use the begin function, pass on the array, that will give the base address of an array and I can also use an end wherein I <coughs> it will give me the end address of an array. Now, if you can just also observe this for loop, it's very much same except the dir type of this, dir type of the variable which captures every element of this. Now instead of mentioning the dir type explicitly, if you want you can also use auto, which is again a C++11 feature. It will automatically determine the dir type here. Since ERR is an array of integers, the element will automatically become an element of type integer. The same way since names is an array of strings, every element will be of type string. So we'll quickly try to compile this as well as execute this. Fine. Okay. Now, it, not only it works with a, uh, traditional arrays, it also works with vectors.